Here at Melbourne Water Wetlands, just 30 kilometers from Melbourne City Centre, thousands of flying foxes make their home. Flying foxes, unlike what their namesake suggests, are actually bats. Numbering thousands, these bats roost in large numbers known as camps. They fall into the genus Teropis, in which most other species of flying foxes fall into. The formation of these large colonies is a characteristic common in other species of this genus. Atop their high perches, most gray-headed flying foxes sleep, as you can see here. They hang upside down with their wings wrapped around their body, recuperating their energy for a night of foraging. In between sleep, flying foxes groom themselves by scratching, combing, and licking their body. This grooming process is important for hygiene, social bonding, and mate attraction. If you look closely, you can see some of the bats at the Melbourne Water Mudlands camp performing this grooming behavior. From a distance, you can see this bat scratching itself repeatedly. Wing membranes which are not clean become less flexible from a buildup of oil secretions, harming flight capabilities. One of the first sensations experienced by a young bat is that of its mother grooming it, which later translates to mutual grooming. Here is another example of a flying fox grooming itself. At the Melbourne Water Wetlands Camp, most of the bats sit still, indicating their resting state. As you can see, many of these bats hang from exposed regions of the tree. One theory for this behavior is that the bats prefer exposed regions because they must free fall off the branches in order to gain momentum before taking off. With extended wings, this flying fox appears to be stretching. It is actually fanning its wings as a thermoregulatory response, or possibly as an aggressive territorial display. Dusk has fallen and flying foxes leave their camps to their feeding territory. Lincoln Square, a small park close to the University of Melbourne campus, is an especially popular feeding spot for these foxes. Listen closely to the feeding cries. This serves to demarcate the feeding territory of the flying fox. The bats fly up to 50 kilometers from the day roost to feed, primarily on eucalyptus blossoms, but have also been known to eat apricots, bananas, and figs. The grey-hatted flying fox is a fascinating history in the city of Melbourne. Before the 1980s, the species was found predominantly in warmer areas along the eastern coast of Australia and was only a rare visitor to southern Victoria. However, in 1981, the foxes established a permanent camp at the Royal Botanic Gardens. Have remained